several days later. Horny as shit. Fucked up all my productions. See, <clears throat> we good. Horny as hell. Stop! Though. Go back. Go back. Go back. What? Jesus Christ. This video was recorded by a remote. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you what the hell is that? No, you didn't. Hold on. Can I just... I, I was about to, I was about to get a jamming. Hold on. This video was recorded by a remotely operated vehicle owned by the Shell Oil Company a few hundred miles from Houston, Texas. It shows what it is. Look at the legs on this motherfucker. Like, that's ridiculous. Shit, like, that don't even look like that belong on this planet. That don't look like it belongs on this planet at all. That looks like an avatar creature. You call it the Big Fin Squid. But the thing is, it looks like it's acknowledging that it's being recorded. Oh my god. The video was first released to the public in early 2008. Some people thought that this video shows proof of alien life on Earth. Big things that have been caught were juveniles. So it isn't known how big they can be. One fact about them is that they are found up to 20,000 feet deep into the ocean. This squid almost looks like the alien from the movie Nope. It looks like a genuine video. What are your opinions on the clip? Let me know. Stay 20,000 feet deep. Please, please, for the love of Jesus, don't let nobody take this motherfucker out the water. You take it out the water, we all did. Not all of us. I'm not. You know what I mean? Because I'm protected by Adidas, but that's besides the point. I'm exceptional. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. That looks fake. Ah. What the hell is it looks like oil. I think it's alive. This I think it's alive. No shit, Sherlock. I think it's alive. You see bubbles floating out of it. It takes place in Godridge, Ontario, near a nuclear power plant. Two friends began to record as they came upon a huge mass in the water. The shape looked to have perfect edges to it. It had air bubbles float to the surface of the water from it. The two were afraid to move any closer to the object in the water, with good reason. Whatever it is, could it be there due to the nuclear power plant? What do you think? I think we don't need to be around. Well, I'm not going in in case it's like some giant sea mossy monster or something. Again? Yeah, I saw it. That looks crazy. You, I feel like you, yeah. Whether or not you zoomed in or not, I just felt like you close as shit. And the fact that you that close, it looks like. You are just a few feet away. You don't know what that thing is capable of doing. You don't know what it is. I mean, you think it's a life. Okay. I'm afraid of it. Okay. Why don't you go and put your hand in there and see if it bites? This is the right time to be joking around with shit. 
This is the wrong time to be joking around with shit. This is the wrong time to be joking around with shit. <sighs> just, just, uh. Ah. This video is of a little girl on an inflatable unicorn who was sucked away by the sea currents. Damn. The girl who was between the ages of four and five was with her parents. Her parents were playing with her and turned away for a split second to speak with some friends. And all of a sudden, her daughter- They, they, they just so happened to turn around. Her parents is in cahoots. They, know, they didn't want no kid. They in debt. She's expensive. There it is. That's, I'm sorry. That's fucked up. Fucked away. When the parents realized that their daughter was gone, they informed the port authorities, in which they alerted the captain of the local ferry that was nearby. I cannot imagine being stuck in the ocean. Look at him. Look at, oh, go ahead. I mean, thank God she's around people, but like, look at all of that. Look at all that ocean. <sighs> wow. Wow. God forbid this happen. But what if like what if like a whale just came out of nowhere and it was like like to like the little like to the to the to the to the unicorn and to like the little girl. What would y'all do? Like what would they what, what do you think they would have done? They would have been like either nope, I'm not, you know what I mean? I'm good on that. Or do you think a dumbass would try to go after the whale and try I'm not gonna put it past you. If I was if I was one of the people that, that was like on the like low boat thing, man, I'm I'm probably shitting myself because I don't know, it don't look like nobody's gonna go in the water. What? But uh it's just I don't know how to feel like mm. you got sea animals, cre sea creatures that could jump hella far. From within the water, outside the water, like, I don't got time for it. I don't, I do not, I do not. It's probably like hella creatures right below the, what's the name, right below the, uh, the unicorn, you hear? Yeah, she horny. She got all that. But it's probably like hella sea creatures underneath the unicorn waiting, 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 waiting. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? The sub, what the hell was that? It was like a shark hit that boat. What was that noise? What was that? Why are you holding her like As you can that? see, the little girl was calm. Around the same time, that same ferry rescued an elderly man who was swept out to sea. If this little girl was younger, the outcome would have been way different. Why he holding her like that? Like, he got an attitude. <laughs>
You guys okay? Are you in trouble? In this video, a group of fishermen spot two girls who look to be struggling in the water. But the fishermen weren't sure at first. The fishermen called out to the girls asking if they needed help. To their surprise, the girls said yes. The fishermen found out that the girls were caught in the current and swept out to sea. So a few tips. Stay away from the dark, narrow gaps in the water that are in between whitewash. That is a rip current going out to sea. Has this ever happened to you? You better be like, he should have been like, uh, just like Captain America said in the in Avengers. He was like, if he gets shot, or if or if he get killed, just walk it off. You better you better swim in that shit. You better the, the shore is right there. I can see the shore. You better swim it. Come on now. Come on. It's a setup. It's a setup. You guys okay? Are you in trouble? Okay. Stand by, stand by, we're getting you. <laughs> Nobody help. Nobody need help. You're fine, we're gonna get you. Don't okay. worry. Just keep coming. We got a ladder and everything. Come on. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. They got you that boat fast. There's a ladder right there. Calm down. Calm down. I don't know how I feel about that. Maybe I'm just traumatized about all the clutch shit that I've. If, like watched over the years, but like you in a deep ass ocean, you see two girls stranded that need help. They come to the boat. You go to the you go to the girls, and they be like they get their nails, and they grab you, and they pull you in. It's a setup. I don't believe it. I don't trust it. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, it's set up. In this video, a man on a kayak is between a tiger shark and a turtle. Oh my god. And eventually the shark flips his kayak. He may sound like he's joking, but if the shark were to get a hold of him, it would be game over. Why do you think this man is so happy and in such a good mood about what's going on? What are your thoughts? Oh, this is intense. They're, they're underneath me. Look, the truck is going to tear underneath me. There's two of them. I don't know if I'm in the best position right here. Pull in between the tiger and the turtle. You would not think sharks would be that close to either some shallow ass water or that close to the shore. Uh-oh. Oh, oh what? Shit. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. 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 Oh my This video shows a spear fisherman in the middle of the ocean when all of a sudden the bull shark charges him. Luckily the fisherman was paying attention because, from the looks of it, the shark was focused on one thing and one thing only. That fisherman would not have made it if he didn't respond so quick. If he didn't respond so quick, what do you think would have happened? I think he would have got clucked up Bitten, limbs torn, blood everywhere. Shark is so he probably real mad right now because he ain't getting no shark gator. I'm mad too. I'm biting the first thing I see. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god. Yo, it looked like he came out of nowhere. And you know what's crazy? 
I don't know how far a shark or yeah, a shark can smell like underneath the water. But like I feel like if he was to get attacked and blood would just be everywhere in the water, I would feel like that would cause more sea like sea animals and sharks to come and see what all that blood is from. Like <laughs> Yo, but go back. Like it looked like that shark came out of nowhere. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah, it came like right. Jesus. I don't know how. Jesus. Are you not where your boat at? Are you just there? You gotta be capping. That's cap. You gotta be on some sort of boat or something. In this video, a man on a kayak is strolling through the swamp. At one point, you can hear water splashing off camera as if something was getting in the water. The man on the kayak turns to see what it was, but there was nothing there. My ass. He continues to do what he was doing. Then all of a sudden, something happens. It wasn't off camera, I saw, I saw it. With his head going underwater, he was vulnerable to whatever flipped his kayak. Is it like a little bonus video at the end? No. No. I have to fart. Oh no. Oh. <clears throat> you know, I'm scared of a lot of things. A lot of things. But one of the one of the most things I'm probably scared about is the ocean. Because I, we have been on this planet for a long time, and we have yet to discover everything, even even a, even a little bit of the ocean. Um, and it's just it's just, it's just crazy. It's just crazy how humans have been here for a long time. And we still don't know everything that's in the ocean and how how deep it even goes. Um, it's probably because like the pressure of the ocean just intensifies uh, the further you go down. But yo, I don't. We don't even know what's. We don't even know what's everything that went in there in the ocean. And uh, like that first thing that looked like a. That look like a jellyfish on steroids. Them long ass arms, dark legs. That's ridiculous. 
And then, like, if you ever in the ocean, and, like, you, like, either you by yourself or, or no, you not by yourself. If you ever in the ocean, and I'm not talking about, like, just on, like, the surface of it. Like, I'm talking, like, deep in the ocean. Like, it's over. Like, it's right. Like, regard, but whether or not you in the ocean or you right on top. If, like, if you, man, I don't know. I just, uh, the ocean scares the hell out of me, and I don't got time for it, so I, 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 I don't, I don't, I do not, I do not, because if you're on a kayak, if you're on a boat, and that shit flips over, it's wraps, it's over, you're done for, because you're, you're in there, I don't know how, how far, how well a shark can, uh, see underwater, or smell underwater, but I'm pretty sure it's probably as good as it how an eagle can smell and see. And it's, uh, I don't got time for it. I do not have time for it. Keep it cool, keep it classy. And I love you. Stay happy, my family.